All right. Yeah, Dad. Listen, I know you need gas money for Saturday night, so if you're willing to do a few extra chores, I'll uh, pay you ten dollars. Sure, I can do that. Now, I need you to sweep the garage, clean the leaves out of the gutters, pick up the dry cleaning, and uh, fix that shelf in the pantry. I'll run that back. Okay. Fix the shelf, sweep the garage, pick up the leaves. The dry cleaning? Yeah. The gutters. Fix the gutters. Clean, clean, clean the gutters. Clean out the gutters, fix the shelf, sweep the leaves. The garage. Fix the garage. Sweep it. Sweep. Listen, I'm not going to pay you $10 for nothing. Sweep the garage, pick up the cleaning, clean up the gutters, fix the shelf. Do that? And you got yourself gas money. Didn't you say something about leaves? They're in the gutters. I pick them up. Clean them up. I got to make toast. What are those? Oh, Donna. Did you buy Playboy for me? No, they're college brochures. Donna, these people are fully dressed. That's just not going to work for me. How long's the curfew? Uh, about one minute. Yeah. Now, Donna, I'm not bragging, but if you're properly motivated, I can actually do it in that amount of time. You don't have to tell me. Okay, so buckle up, Donna, because the next 12 seconds are all about you, babe. Five, four, three, no, wait, two, one. I... Damn it. Curfew, Hophead. Okay. Daddy, I've rounded up some things to help the family out in these trying times. Yeah, you see, Eric? Your sister's a team player. No, these are all my things. <laughs> Grow up, Eric. They're G.I. Joes. Well, yeah, G.I. Joes with Kung Fu grip. <laughs> what a bitch. What a Rooney Dooney. You feel okay? Yeah, I'm just not hungry. Oh, Steven, are you finally tired of freeloading? Can it, Lori. All I'm saying is Daddy works really hard and nothing here is cheap. Except you. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not cheap. Fine, free, whatever. We took him into our home. We treated him like our own son. Treat him better than your own son. <laughs> Got some questions I want answers. What are you doing about moving out? I don't know. About Donna? I don't know. Your job? I don't know. Your future? Okay, I am gonna go ahead and hit you with an... I don't know. Then no food for you. What? Eric, what are you doing eating? Well, it's mainly for survival but I also enjoy the fruity tastes. I told you to replace the hubcap on the Vista Cruiser. So what is it? You're mature enough to get married, but not mature enough to replace a hubcap? Well, let's see. You took away my keys so I can't drive, and you took away my job so I can't afford a new hubcap, and you also took away my self-esteem so I have no pride in my job or my possessions. Okay, here you go. Egg whites only. No yolks to bad for you. But the yellow part is the baby bird. That's the part I want to eat. Sorry, too much cholesterol, which also means no bacon, just good old heart-healthy ham. Mmm. Bacon. That is so good. That is so much better than ham. <laughs> Mom, maybe you should stop worrying about everyone else so much and start thinking about yourself. Maybe you should find something to enrich your life. Oh, may I suggest the teachings of the Jedi? <laughs> and may I suggest the footing of your ass? <laughs> this is not the ass you're looking for. <laughs> See, now you don't know what to do. So I said to myself, because, of course, I was alone, 
that I would bring someone sizzling hot with me to the wedding. Hey, Donna, would you be my date? Let's. I don't know what to say. Oh, let me help you out. No! <laughs> Donna, if you went with me, I might finally earn some respect for my family. Let me say this for you one more time in Spanish. No! <laughs> I've taught him that. <laughs> oh. Hey, you guys, I'm not jealous. I'm just looking out for her. I mean, Donna's practically a sister to me. A tall, shapely sister. Who I've done it with. About a million times. Everybody, just settle down, okay? Settle down! You are all losing your minds! Who is yelling? Who is yelling? We all just need to keep calm. That's it! Don't we're all gonna die! Hurry up, Donna. You're, uh, you're getting into your foreplay time. <laughs> One second. Oh, no! What? What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's not funny, Donna. I can't even do it now. <laughs> yes, I can. I don't want you to see my wedding dress. It's bad luck. Isn't having sex before the wedding the bad luck thing? <laughs> well, that too. Eric, getting married is like one big minefield. One false step and pff, limbs just flying everywhere. Well, don't worry, I didn't see your wedding dress, so... So... I think we just saved ourselves some bad luck. Now let's take that credit that we've earned and use it to have sex. <laughs> Come on, we can't lose. It's gonna be like playing with the house's money. Eric, if we broke our celibacy vow now, what would it say about us? It would say... Yay, we had sex! Have a seat. <laughs> so, have you thought about where you want to go to school yet? Oh. Well, I like your school. <laughs> I found that it was really... now we, we are in bed oh. okay I see okay. <clears throat> so good night good night Eric okay, just um one second <laughs> Okay, baseball, Vietnam, Richard Nixon, Pat Nixon, Pat Boone, the girl that does the weather. No, no, Okay, jellyfish, really big spiders. Come on, dig deep, dig deep. Okay. The day we backed over Skipper in the driveway, instead of going to the county fair, I had to bury him in the backyard. Okay. I'm good. And good night. <laughs>